Welcome to the channel, your source for the most captivating and up-to-date discoveries in the universe. Today we're diving into a truly exciting find by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has turned its powerful infrared capabilities toward two intriguing objects known as brown dwarfs. Often referred to as a failed stars, uh, these unique celestial bodies offer us an unparalleled view into the complexities of atmospheres beyond our solar system. In today's episode, we'll explore how the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has unveiled the most detailed weather report yet on a pair of brown dwarfs. But before we get into the details of this discovery, let's take a moment to understand what brown dwarfs are and why they're so fascinating to astronomers. Brown dwarfs are a kind of cosmic middle ground between the smallest stars and the largest gas giant planets. They possess too much mass to be considered planets, but not quite enough to trigger the nuclear fusion process that transforms a mass into a star. This places them in a unique category, offering scientists a rare opportunity to study a type of object that may provide insights into both stellar and planetary formation. The two brown dwarfs in focus today are part of a binary system known as WISE 1049 AB. Located just 6.5 light years away from our Sun, these brown dwarfs are the closest to our solar system, making them prime targets for observation by the JWST. Discovered in 2013 by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE, this pair has intrigued scientists ever since. What makes these brown dwarfs particularly compelling is their rapid rotation. WISE 1049A completes a full spin every 7 hours, while WISE 1049B rotates every 5 hours. This rapid spinning leads to significant variability in their atmospheric conditions, and until now, previous telescopes have only been able to capture these in static, time-averaged snapshots. Thanks to the JWST's advanced technology, we can now observe these changes dynamically over time. To conduct this groundbreaking study, a team led by Beth Biller from the University of Edinburgh used the JWST's Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, to observe WISE 1049AB for 8 hours. This was followed by another 7 hours of observation using the Near Infrared Spectrometer, or NIR spec. These extended observations revealed that both brown dwarfs are covered in swirling, tumultuous clouds, likely composed of silicate grains, essentially, hot, sandy winds blowing through their atmospheres. These silicate clouds are not only fascinating but also incredibly hot, with temperatures ranging from 875 to 1026 degrees Celsius, or 1610 to 1880 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine a world where clouds of hot sand swirl in the air, creating a dynamic and ever-changing environment. But that's just the surface of the story. The JWST has also detected absorption signatures of carbon monoxide, methane, and water vapor in the atmospheres of these brown dwarfs. These findings suggest a complex atmospheric chemistry that could be more common among celestial bodies throughout the galaxy than we previously understood. Now, let's delve deeper into the variability observed in the light curves of these brown dwarfs. A light curve is essentially a graph that shows the brightness of an object over time. For WISE 1049AB, these light curves exhibit significant variability, indicating stormy conditions with clouds moving at various altitudes. Gaps in these clouds allow us to peek into deeper layers of the atmosphere, providing unprecedented insight into the vertical structure of these brown dwarfs. The researchers have identified peaks in the light curves at specific wavelengths, carbon monoxide at 2.3 microns and 4.2 microns, methane at 3.3 microns, and silicate grains at approximately 8.3 to 8.5 microns. These peaks suggest the presence of different atmospheric layers, each with distinct pressure and temperature conditions. For instance, there appears to be a deep atmospheric layer producing signals greater than 2.3 microns but less than 8.5 microns, an intermediate layer absorbing light between 2.3 and 4.2 microns, and a high-altitude layer showing signals from 4.2 to 8.5 microns. 
This stratification in the atmosphere is a groundbreaking discovery, offering new insights into the complexity of brown dwarf atmospheres. Beth Biller and her team are optimistic about what these findings mean for our understanding of the universe. As Biller stated, ER findings show that we are on the cusp of transforming our understanding of worlds far beyond our own. The techniques developed through this study may one day enable us to detect weather patterns on habitable planets orbiting other stars. The implications of this research extend beyond brown dwarfs. By studying these fascinating objects, scientists are gaining valuable insights into the atmospheres of young giant exoplanets, which can further our understanding of how planets and stars form and evolve. As the JWST continues its observations, we can expect even more exciting discoveries in the coming years. The telescope's ability to capture detailed atmospheric data will undoubtedly enhance our understanding of celestial objects across the universe, from brown dwarfs to giant exoplanets and beyond. This study is just the beginning, marking a new era of exploration and discovery in the field of astrophysics. As we continue to refine our techniques and instruments, the possibility of detecting whether on distant, potentially habitable planets becomes more realistic. The journey of discovery doesn't end here. As the JWST embarks on future observing cycles, it will transform our understanding of brown dwarf and exoplanet atmospheres, offering a glimpse into the diversity and complexity of the cosmos. Let's take a moment to explore the technology behind the James Webb Space Telescope that makes these incredible observations possible. The JWST is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments that allow it to peer deeper into space and with greater clarity than ever before. One of the key features of the JWST is its ability to observe in the infrared spectrum, which is crucial for studying objects like brown dwarfs and distant exoplanets. Infrared light is a longer wavelength than visible light, allowing astronomers to see through clouds of gas and dust that would otherwise obscure their view. This capability is particularly useful when studying the atmospheres of brown dwarfs, where the JWST can detect the heat emitted by these objects and analyze their atmospheric composition. The Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and the Near-Infrared Spectrometer, NIR spec, used in this study are just two of the powerful tools aboard the JWST. MIRI operates at longer infrared wavelengths, which are ideal for observing the cooler temperatures and dynamic atmospheric conditions of brown dwarfs. NIR spec, on the other hand, provides detailed spectral information that helps scientists determine the chemical makeup and structure of these atmospheres. The JWST's precision and sensitivity allow it to capture the subtle changes in light emitted or absorbed by an object over time, leading to more accurate and dynamic representations of brown dwarfs' atmospheric conditions. This capability is critical for identifying the weather patterns and cloud structures within these celestial bodies. With these instruments, the JWST has opened up new possibilities for studying not just brown dwarfs but a wide range of celestial phenomena. Its ability to measure the faintest signals from distant objects means it can reveal details that have been hidden from us until now. As we continue to observe the universe with the JWST, we will undoubtedly uncover new mysteries and deepen our understanding of the cosmos. The discovery of stormy weather on brown dwarfs is a testament to the JWST's capabilities and a glimpse into what the future holds for space exploration. The observations of WISE 1049AB have provided a valuable opportunity to test and refine techniques that will be essential for studying exoplanets, particularly those that might harbor conditions similar to those found on Earth. As researchers continue to analyze the data from the JWST, they hope to uncover more about the processes shaping the atmospheres of brown dwarfs and their implications for other celestial objects. This knowledge will help build a more comprehensive picture of how stars and planets form and evolve and how they might vary across different environments in the universe. Looking ahead, the JWST's continued observations will likely lead to further breakthroughs in our understanding of the atmospheres of brown dwarfs and exoplanets. Each new discovery brings us closer to answering some of the most fundamental questions about our universe and our place within it. In conclusion, 
The James Webb Space Telescope has once again demonstrated its remarkable capabilities by revealing the complex and dynamic weather patterns on brown dwarfs. These findings are just the beginning of a new era in astrophysical research, where we can explore the universe with unprecedented clarity and detail. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, we look forward to sharing more exciting discoveries with you in future episodes. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the universe with us.